I'm going to show you a special technique I call finger blasting. <laughs> what? Okay. Well, wait a second. Okay. Hold, hold your horses. We're going to give Kiyu the benefit of the doubt. Kiyu, can you please explain to us what finger blasting if is? What's up, guys, and welcome to Honeycam Studio, the second game actually made by the developers of Honey Pop, which is kind of exciting. We should expect to see some of the same characters from Honey Pop, even though the two games aren't related, like they're not a sequel or a prequel to one another. But if you don't know anything about Honeycam Studio, let me tell you in this brief disclaimer. This is a business simulator about running a company in the adult industry, and while any brief instances of nudity or lewd visual content will be censored, the theme of the game still remains. So as stated by the developers, the sexual themes of this game are for humor purposes rather than for provocation. And if you don't like those themes, then you probably don't want to watch this video. And I should mention that I don't actually have to give disclaimers like that at the beginning of videos. I just choose to do so because I don't want people to get into watching something that they're uncomfortable watching. But that being said, I've been told that this game is quite a bit tamed down to Honey Pop. There isn't a whole lot of direct interactions with girls or relations. It's, I mean, it's a business simulator. It's more like Tube Tycoon. I feel like it's going to be more like Firmville than it will Honey Pop. But that being said, I'm really looking forward to it. I really do miss a lot of the characters from Honey Pop. If we get to see Kiyu again, I'll be pretty happy. Oh, hey, look <laughs> who decided to show Why up. Why am I, I not guess surprised? The true, you do exist. Yeah, I do exist. Kiyu's back. Well, I, like I said, I should have expected that she would be the one to greet me in the game. It's what she does. If you do me a huge favor and show up even later next time, that'd be sweet. Wait, what? The game literally came out today. I could not have gotten here any sooner. Alright, look. If you want this gig, you gotta listen to directions. I want this we gig, man. I'm doing you a solid by letting you manage my girls. Wait a minute, what? You're... So I'm getting hot. Wait, I'm really confused now. I thought I was the one running this place, and you were one of the girls. Like, one of the entertainers, not like a pimp. She pretty much- she's the boss? I mean, let's keep it a hundred here. This is the closest you're getting to female interaction right now. We're keeping it a hundred, man. I'm- I'm good. That should be payment enough. And it will be, since that's the only payment you're getting. Come on, really? Like, we- we were tight. We played like 20 episodes of Honey Pop together. You used to be my wingman. Why are you gonna- let's why are you play me like that? Any more time. I'll start you out with one of our fresh prospects. Which one okay. of these girls catches your eye? Um, are you gonna show me some girls? Oh! Oh, no way! Yeah, so Tiffany, Nikki, and Kiana are in this game too. It's like I said, I think a lot of the characters from Honey Pop will appear in this game uh, on top of a bunch of new ones, but even though the two aren't directly related, that is awesome! And just looking at this, you guys already know who I'm gonna pick. I mean, if you've watched Honey Pop, you know that Tiffany is my girl, but that being said, it looks like they have like stats and stuff like that. They're, they're like Pokemon. We got fan count, pay rate, it's all the same, drinks and smokes, never, never, never. Okay, so they're pretty much the same. They just have different characteristics, I guess. So Tiffany is teen and fit. Nikki has huge tits and glasses. Apparently glasses is a characteristic. Can you, can you not get glasses? Kiana is Latina and a thick ass. <laughs> thick ass is probably the best characteristic I think I've ever heard of anything. But we're gonna recruit Tiffany as much as thick ass. Okay, so can I click on this? Tiffany is a college student who's looking for a way to start paying off her student loans, but can also seem to find a decent part-time gig. Okay, Nikki is shy a girl who started out streaming video games but quickly realized how much more money she could make by showing off the goods. Kiana is a fitness buff who's looking for a fun way to provide for her family uh, that ideally makes a lot more money than hairdressing. Okay, so they are definitely the same characters as Honey Pop. Hairdresser, uh, has a son, nerd, uh, college student, all the same stuff. Cool. Okay, we're gonna get Great Tiffany. Call. Thanks, That's man. That's kind of who I was thinking too, but I'd say that no matter who you picked. <laughs> I have no doubt you would have because it's a game. I think she knows it's a game too. Now that we've recruited her, we have to employ her. Otherwise, it's like, what was the point? What was the point? It's I don't know, man. Easy, though. I'll show okay. You. Break open the girls section for me, will ya? The girls section, got All it. All you gotta do to employ her is drag her from the girls section to the open position on the studio bar to the right. <laughs> I know what she means, but when she says you have to drag her from the girls section, I literally picture her going limp and me taking her by the arm and dragging her into the vacancy. What did I say? Easy, right? 
<laughs> Easy, <laughs> man. She doesn't weigh a lot. Let's have her do a quick cam show. Okay. So we're going to get her to work. The studio bar to the building in the southwest corner of the city. That's the cam studio. Okay, the one with the giant camera on it. Very discreet. Sweet. The cashier gets deposited at the studio. So you have to pull it out if you want to spend it. <laughs> pull it out. Okay, so we need to pull to out the money. Earnings, you got to click up on that building. Go ahead. You do the work. I'll okay. Watch. Oh, okay. Five dollars. Clearly, this girl is new to camming. I mean, Must be. Look, it's a start, I guess. But if we're gonna make it in this industry, we need fans. You know, regulars, desperate dudes with disposable income. I I can think of a lot of places to find we'll some. Release some dirty photo sets for free. I don't <laughs> like free, but we need the exposure. Okay, and it's like I said, this is this is the game. This is it. So even though it does have a mature subject matter to it, we're not seeing cam girl shows or anything like that. It's a business simulator. Let's have a legit shoot done. Drag okay. Her over to the photo studio, okay? Okay. So we need to drag. Once again, we need to take Limp Tiffany by her arm and drag her to the photo studio. So we're gonna put her in there. 15 minutes plus five fans. Similar oh. To cam shows, we have to collect the new fans she attracted. Okay. So do that. Okay. Yeah, One, yeah, two. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so here's yeah. the new fans. Each new fan Ooh, fans. Fan has a preference. Everybody okay. has their kink, their fetish. Okay, so they're each into a different kind of I'm girl sure is what you're saying. explain what a fetish is to a sick freak like you, but it's a Whoa, to man. Anyway. Whoa, I am a healthy freak. I do not want to take shit from a sex fairy. I'll show you what I mean. Crack open the fan section real quick. Okay. Here you can see how many fans we have broken down by fetish. Okay. Looks like she had a small following before we hired her. Okay, so she has 10 fans that like fit girls and 5 fans that like teenage fans girls. Of a Makes sense. Fetish will only watch girls who can satisfy that desire. People are picky about their porn like that. Okay. So if you had a bunch of dudes who were into black chicks, that's not going to help an Asian girl at all. You get it? I think I got it. When I think I got the gist of it. When you a photo shoot, she's only going to interest new fans who match one of her fetishes. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So you just need you to get fans that like a little bit of everything. The girl satisfies by checking her profile. Okay. I'll show you. Click her face on the studio bar. Again, I picture me just going, Boop, what do you like? See? Her fetishes are listed right here. Each girl will naturally support a couple by default. Okay, so yeah, she has a couple. She has room for more. So maybe we can like change her outfit. Like, if we gave her glasses, then all of a sudden she has the glasses appeal. And then Nikki becomes obsolete. Makes her sense. Her fan count, which is based on her fetishes, is okay. down here. The more fans she has, the more money she'll earn camming. She's only earning a dollar an hour? That Let's is some shit. Let's do another cam show. Only this time, I'm going to show you a special technique I call finger blasting. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Well, wait a second. Okay. Hold, hold your horses. We're going to give Kiyu the benefit of the doubt. Kiyu, can you please explain to us what finger blasting if is? If you click on a building while a girl is there, it'll rush the activity so it's completed faster. Okay. It's pretty useful. We'll kick off a show as normal. Drop her off at the camp studio for a hot minute. Okay, so we put her now in the cam studio. The shit out of that building. I'll keep the clock frozen so you can get an idea of how it works. Oh, finger blasting because I'm clicking the thing a lot. I'm finger blasting it. You Look see? Mine's out of the gutters, guys. This is a video it. game. I'm clicking on a mouse. Click and hold if you want. Okay, click Let's and hold. Give that a try. Clicking and holding. So far, Got so it. good. But we're not going to make that fuck you money with only one girl to show off. <laughs> going to make that fuck you money. There's okay. There's a model agency in town that's bound to be ripe with hotties looking to make a quick buck. That's a big, that's a big modeling agency. He's got a helicopter pad on the top. If you send one of our girls that was like a hospital. to shill our studio, I'm sure she can line up some solid prospects. Okay. It's better than you going in there Seems a little greasy. I'm not saying you're busted, but you're not winning any pageants. Okay, you know what? You're changing your story an awful lot from the last game. You know what? That's not okay, man. Oh, and we ain't employing shit unless we open up a new position. 
We gotta okay. invest in growing the business, you know? Oh, I see. I got all these ones locked. I can unlock more uh, positions, more girls. Here, why don't you pull up the invest section and I'll show you. Okay, we need to diversify. There we need to invest our funds. There are a lot of business you can invest in here to expand operations, improve functions, and maximize revenue. Okay. In order to employ a second girl, we need to invest in staffing, which we just happen to be able to afford. Imagine that. Imagine that. I can't imagine the tutorial I'm making this easier. To click things, so go ahead and invest in <laughs> staffing for me, will ya? I, I gotta say it again. I love Q. I'm like too important to click things, so if like you could just do it for me, that'd be great. Right, moving up in the world. Okay. Now when you recruit a new girl, just drag her to this open <laughs> position to employ her. Freaking dragger, man. Okay, got it. I got it, Kiyu. I got it. There you have it. That's Those it. Those are most of the basics of running a cam girl operation. Okay. But don't forget, you work for me, and I expect results. I want to see him fast, too. I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> she legit sounds like an abusive pimp. I'm not going to lie. Of course you're not getting younger. You're like 400 and something I'll years old. three weeks to get as many new fans as possible. Three That's weeks. 21 days. Got Everybody it. Can do I know that. what three weeks is. Okay. The more fans, the better. <laughs> there are some dope ass dick trophies in it for you. Too. Dick trophies. I made them myself. <laughs> That's very, very good craftsmanship. I, I like the, the vascularity. That is going to be all censored. <laughs> Even though in reality, I'm sure everybody has seen worse drawn on the inside of a textbook or a bathroom stall. But at the same time, well, well done, Q. You know what? Props go to you for those lovely trophies. So remember, 21 days. 21 days. Ticking, so don't be dicking around on me. I want Whoa. that big money, boy. Throwing the dick inside. I want that big money, boy. I highly recommend Fuse starting up by recruiting and employing more girls because one or two ain't gonna cut it. Okay. Now get back to work. I'll check in later to go over some other stuff with you. Peace. Hey, okay, see you later. Oh, God, I'm on my own. Okay, so like I said, pretty funny little business simulator. I think we want to get another girl modeling agency. So if we send Tiffany in here. Give it to me. Okay, you got this, Tiffany. So, oh, oh I forgot Ooh. something. We're okay. not running off slave labor here. We yeah. do have to pay these lovely ladies. Of course. I'll show you how we do payroll. Do me a favor and open up the books real quick. God, guys, this game is so sexy. We're about to learn about payroll. The payroll section shows a list of employed girls, what their current hourly rates are, and what we owe them. Okay. If we have the cash on hand, you can process the payroll at any time by clicking this pay button. Ooh, that's a little bit more detailed than I thought. So they don't get paid automatically and get it deducted. We can hold out and then pay them when we have the money? But be careful because the payroll will automatically process every night oh. at midnight, even if we can't afford it. Oh, okay. So I need so to be I'm careful. Saying, keep an eye on that. I got the it. The last thing I need right now is you knocking us into debt. Okay, man. I'm, I'm on it. I mean, I know that our $3 leaves a lot of wiggle room, but I'll try to build something out of this shit show. Oh, and pro tip, don't forget to invest in inventory. Just trust me. It's not my first time around the block. Yeah, I remember the last time my inventory filled up real quick. <laughs> Too many panties. Okay, so... Are we... Oh, okay. She's recruiting. So, yeah. This is a really interesting little game. It's like a... Ooh, did we get somebody? What are we doing? We... Oh, modeling agency. Can we click on this now? By the way, when you're looking at new girls to recruit, there uh -huh. are a couple things to keep in mind. Okay. The music like... note represents her talent level. Okay. The higher her talent level is, the more money she earns per fan while camming. Oh, so more talented girls cost more money per fan. The represents her style level. The higher her style level is, the more fans she will attract with photo shoots. Photo shoots. Okay, so the blue is for actually entertaining, and the yellow is for attracting more fans. Okay, that the makes sense. We can keep that straight. Style levels do come at a cost, as she will usually demand a higher hourly rate. So, okay. you better be sure we can afford to take her on board before you go off hiring a total babe. Oh, don't tell me stuff if like that because... If you want more details, you can hover over the music note and little bow icons. Okay. Last thing, this fan count here is how many of our existing fans would be interested in her, based oh, on the fetishes. Oh, that's useful. Okay, so... 
So I, it said I can hover over the town level two earns 0.75 cash for each fan she has while camming. Uh, earns okay, and we that's that would be four dollars an hour because we have ten fans and earns twelve fans each time she does a photo. I really liked Nadia. Okay, let's let's learn a little bit about them. Nadia, she, she has to be Russian, right? Is a self described okay, is a self described Russian sex goddess who used to provide sadistic and domineering escorting services to wealthy European men. Holy shit, we have Zoe, she's got two different colored eyes. She looks super intense. Zoe is an insufferable millennial who tries a little too hard to be unique. She sexually identifies as a cybernetic android. <laughs> what? Okay, is that a thing? Should I make fun of that? Are there actual people out there who identify as cybernetic androids? I'm gonna make fun of that anyway because that's retarded. <laughs> Ellie was a conservative yoga instructor until recently when she discovered her true sexual nature. And frankly, she's kind of a freak. Way to go, Belly! Really coming along since last time. I remember her being the uh, the very quiet, kind of church mouse kind of girl. Oh no, so... Oh, that's... You bastards. Belly wasn't chubby. She... I don't even know if she was Asian. She's Asian and chubby. We have Ebony and Flat Chest, and we have the MILF with tattoos. Uh, you know what guys, I think I'm gonna leave this episode of Honeycam Studio here because I want you guys to vote on who is gonna be the next girl to join the show. So I'm gonna put an annotation with a uh, poll on it that you can click on and you can vote for which one you want most, Nadia, Zoe, or Belly. And on top of that, or you could just leave a comment if you don't know where that is. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of who we want to see, and also, what do you think of the game? Because it's like I said, I don't, I don't think this is going to be the next Honey Pop. I don't think I'm going to make 20 episodes of this, not because of the way it is, but because it's a business simulator. Business simulators tend to be very grindy. It's like I said, it's more like Farmville than Honey Pop, so it ends up being a lot of putting girls in a building, waiting 30 seconds, getting your money back, using that money to buy more girls, putting them back in the building, that kind of thing. But at the same time, Tube Tycoon did really well on the channel, and so far, I'm really impressed with this game. So I would like to play more so you guys will have to let me know what you think and who is gonna be our next employee Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time You can sleep here with me if you want just no funny visit that is boobs Okay, we're one episode in and actually you know what it's really weird because I would expect Arianne to have nipples but instead she just has meat lover pizzas <laughs> That's, that's really weird.